Ah, this is a sweet, sweet thought. And it's, if you don't go, I won't go. So what do I mean by that, dear listeners? Well, I am thinking that this next year in 2021 that I am going to draw closer to God. And the way to draw, and I'm going to share with you some ways that I'm going to try to draw closer to God, hoping that you will uh, be encouraged to do it also. But um, in Exodus 33, verses 14 and 15, And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. This is God talking to Moses. And he said unto him, and this is Moses talking, If thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. Moses said, If you don't go, God, I don't want to go. And I believe that the only way to go in 2021 is with God. And how am I going to draw closer to God? Well, I'm going to spend more time with him. I've already planned. I went out and bought a new um, book at Walmart, of course, a new little planner book for me to keep track of what I'm reading in the Bible. Like after I read a portion of scripture, I'm going to write down for this year, I'm going to write down what I got out of it. And that's a new way. I, I didn't do that last year, so I'm doing it this year. And that's a new way that I'm going to draw closer to God. I personally have some a bunch of books that would total up to 365 days. And those books together give somebody an opportunity to read the Bible every day. For some of you that don't read the Bible, you ought to contact me and say, how can I get that get, Let's Get Closer to God series? Because you need something that will help you. You know, it's, I think it's like $75 worth of books that I'm selling for $50. I'm trying to help people to get in the Bible because that's how you draw closer to God. If you don't go, I won't go. Well, the re- way that you uh, have the presence of God in your life is every day make yourself aware of him. You know, look around and say, what did God do for me today? You know, like he's already done something really miraculous for me today. He He helped me figure out a problem I had on my computer. And I just thanked him. I kept thanking him. I said, God, thank you for being with me and help me with this problem with my computer. Uh, yesterday... I was working on a project and I couldn't find something that I had lost quite a few weeks ago. And I said, Lord, could you just help me find it? And lo and behold, I went into storage, walked right up to something and found it in a box. I could not believe that I found it. You know, are you like me? You ask God to help you do something. Then when he does it, you say, wow, that is something. But, you know, that's I'm aware of God's presence in my life. Now, can I tell you, there's times when I ask him to help me find something and I don't find it right away. You know, and that's okay. God is God and I trust him to do what's best for me and use uh life situations every day to help me be better for him. And sometimes he makes those life situations easy and sometimes not so easy. Uh, If you don't go, I won't go. Let's draw closer to God. Let's make sure he's a part of our everyday living. Number one, by reading more of the Bible. Number two, by being more aware of him on a daily basis, by watching for him to work and live. And you know what? The third way is Let's just really tell him that all the time. Let's do like Moses said. If thy presence go not with me, then carry me not up then. Don't carry me away like that. Don't let me go by myself. I want to be with you. That's how to survive these hard times. And I'm excited to share this thought with you because, ladies, I know you need God. And I know God's waiting there ready to draw nigh to you because the Bible says that. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. If you are looking toward him for a closer relationship, he'll give it to you. I promise. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice.